So what is film? Basically, it's a story conveyed with moving images. The human race has been telling stories for thousands of years, even since before we could talk. Cave drawings were the very first way of telling stories, and ever since then, mankind has used narratives, both fiction and non-fiction, to convey certain meanings and emotions to each other. Film's main purpose, debatably, is to entertain, such as Shakespeare's plays hundreds of years ago, or Homer's Iliad and Odyssey thousands of years ago. See, film is just the next step in entertainment technology. Old words, old stories, spoken by word of mouth, see, they changed with every interpretation. See, what's unique about film is that it remains constant and defies the test of time. As Steven Spielberg has said, the public has an appetite for anything about imagination. Anything that is as far away from reality as is creatively possible. How are movies actually made? Well, it all starts with an idea. What sometimes happens is we all have ideas every day, but they are forgotten, so write it down. You can't do anything with an idea you forgot. Start taking notes of ideas, of setting, characters, and major themes. Don't worry if your notes are crazy and a little incoherent in places. This is just the planning stages of a film. Well, it starts with an idea. And you gotta write the idea down. Because once you have the idea, it's gonna change inside of your head. So once you get the idea down, you're free to adjust it however you want, rather than however your subconscious is gonna adjust it. Like a memory that you can't quite remember, so some of the figments, some of the details become figments. So once it got down, you start formulating ideas on how you can get it into reality. Like, setting, where can you film this that's reasonable? I mean, does it no good to have an idea of a place that you need to film that you can't get? So, you make your entire story adjust around what you can do and what you have available to you. That starts on paper. Next, you have to form characters, backgrounds to those characters, settings, plots, and themes. You could go traditional archetype route where you have the hero, the mentor, the comic relief, trickster, and shadow. Or you could create more unique characters with their own set of personalities. Once you get the idea on paper, Next, you gotta go with the uh, basic cores of the stories, characters. Now, the characters make up the story. Most stories have a basic hero character, which is gonna be me. You have your antagonists, Bittner and Chad, and <clears throat> stories usually go linear, which is A to B to C. You start with the hero's call to action, his arrival at the conflict, how he deals with the conflict, and the conclusion. Now, for mine, my story, the hero's conflict is going to be getting across a bridge. A classic readaptation of the trolls under the bridge. You also have to figure out a coherent story to set these characters in. Now comes time to sit down and write a screenplay. You have the idea and story. Now you need to set that story into a format that everyone can read. Here you will write the entire story from start to finish. Every fade, every bit of dialogue, every setting, and every subtle smirk. There are many books written on how to write a successful screenplay. And remember, there is not one answer, but they can help you with the form. The internet, online resources can be a valuable help to you when writing your screenplay. After the screenplay is done, comes storyboarding. In this step, you will draw out every scene and every shot of your film. This may seem tiresome and not worth your time, but when you can show someone exactly what you're thinking for certain shots, it really helps to convey your idea a lot easier. You don't have to be a good artist to be a good storyboarder. Because of computer technology, it's made storyboarding a heck of a lot easier for even us bad artists. Now comes time for everybody's favorite part, the budget. Budget is something you should always be conscious about. 
but for our purposes, we really don't have to worry about money, unless you wanted to buy nice software. And after all those ends are tied up, we begin picking a crew. You want to surround yourself with smart people who are good at what they do. If you have enough people, you'll need a producer who deals with money. Director deals with the look and feel of the film. Director of photography. He's the cinematographer, helps the director achieve his vision. Assistant director. Helps the director. Sound editor. He edits the sound. Costume designer. Deals with costume and makeup. An editor who edits the film. There are other jobs, but we won't get into those here. You yourself could fill all the crew's shoes, being the director, actor, and editor. Or you could choose them yourself as the creative force behind the project. In your films, you'll probably be using your friends, so choose their jobs wisely. Maybe you'll find out one of your friends has a talent that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. The next task is to cast your characters with actors. For this, you will look at training, skills, experience, and their actual audition. Sometimes actors are picked for character roles, or an actor is simply picked because of the way they look. Most of the time, they are picked for their talent. For your movies, you'll probably be using your friends, so there really won't be any casting process. Just remember to choose the right people. Because switching actors in the middle of shooting is catastrophic in terms of continuity. I've decided to take all of the lead roles, including lead actor. I will have Binner become the head troll, and Chad become the lackey troll. Don't forget to take breaks along the way so you and your crew do not get too tired to function. Simply orange. It's orangely amazing. Aren't you glad you bought it? The next step will help everybody on the production team stay on time. Shot lists help the whole production run very smoothly. What you need to do first is make a list of your shots. Then, next to each shot, write where the shot is located. What you need to do is plan to shoot all your scenes of each place all at one time. Shoot all of your wood scene first. Shoot all of your car scenes. Then shoot all of your business scenes. Whatever the case may be. This will help your production crew and cast and help the budget. So, in the movie there's going to be a whole bunch of different shots. It's fairly short, so scene doesn't matter. We got a shot of me walking down a road, which establishes me as a hero because I do some random act of goodness. Then we have a shot of me coming across the antagonists, the trolls, Bittner and Jed. And we have a, a shot of the fight scene, and then we have a shot of the aftermath, and that's about it. And now finally, Time for the shoot. After all the pre-production, which in some cases last years, after all the props, actors, cameras, scenes, and crews are ready, it is finally time to begin working on the actual film. Lighting, composition and framing, camera movements, stunts, sound, directing, and catering all have to be taken into account for the shooting step of a movie. This is the most important step because this is where the idea will finally get to live past the screenplay. For your films, framing and composition, sound, camera movement, and directing will probably be all you need to make a film. Framing and composition include how objects are placed within a frame. This is something you should be planning before the day of the shoot. Camera movements are important to know, especially if a dolly, or a car to mimic a dolly, is needed. Camera movements give a crisp, clean look to your film. You will use sound as voiceover, music, and special effects. Audio editing is much harder than visual editing, and is especially challenging when trying to edit with visual. If you're looking to edit tightly audio, music, and visuals together, be ready for a long time in the editing room. Directing is the next element and every movie must have a director. He is the visionary, the craftsman of the film. Action. And action. Oh, action. Action! Truly anyone can be a director, like filmmaker James Cameron said. Pick up a camera, shoot something, 
no matter how small, no matter how cheesy, no matter whether your friends or your sisters star in it, put your name on it as a director. Now you are a director. After the shooting of a movie comes editing, post-production. Editing is where the magic happens and where the movie meets reality. Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere and Pro, Avid, and even Movie Maker are all softwares that can edit films. Editing is probably the most important part of all the steps of film because this is where your movie is fit into place and where your film takes shape. Editing includes matching audio up with the visual, matching visual shots together, adding music to soundtrack, adding texts, titles, credits, and anything of the sort. Pretty much everything except for the shooting of the film. After all that, well, you're pretty much done. You click save, watch the magic happen. Let's take a look at what Jimmy's film looks like. What is this? You shall pay the toll, or lose thy limbs. What foul beasts stand before me? He called us foul. How rude. I cannot suffer thine to live. Get him. Inception! A narrative loons. within a documentary. Look at the loons! <laughs>